this is your girl Khadija and we are here from Royal Kingdom Estate. Once again, I bring you exciting news about this series that we are starting about the evolution of real estate. And mind you, this is just an icebreaker of many more exciting episodes to come, right? Now, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Guys, here in Ghana, you realize that there are lots of nice edifices we are seeing in Accra springing up. And you're wondering why? That is because Ghana is becoming the center of attraction when it comes to real estate investment. And it's attracting a lot of investors from far and near because one Ghana is fast growing in population and urbanization secondly Ghana has a political stable economy as well and people are you know getting more innovative getting more ideas with the finest of architecture here in Ghana and you know what real estate has become the fastest growing market and people are rushing into real estate because it has a huge return on investment wondering why because also Properties appreciate over time and never diminishes. Imagine you, you buy a land here in Great City at Royal Kingdom State. <laughs> exactly. You know, the next 10 years, you are going to get, you know, billions of cities out of it. And that is why people are investing in real estate here in Ghana. And you know, there are lots of nice buildings in Accra that we can talk of with the finest of architecture, including, you know, that of um, the number one Oxford, the Villaggio, the gallery, and a whole lot more. Even here in Ibri, am I right? You are absolutely correct. <laughs> Ibri is just, breathtakingly beautiful because in these recent episodes that we're going to be showing you we're going to be taking you on a journey <laughs> exactly. of a breeze a breeze with its stunning hills its charming views its beautiful climate and also may i add proximity to the city is making it a prime so not, I area see that for you know real estate. estate is becoming the creme <laughs> de la creme <laughs> okay the creme de la Creme. And here in Abri is definitely the creme de la creme, yeah. where you will have all these tourist attractions at your disposal, amenities, I mean, hotels, parks, you name it, Abri has it for you. And we're going to be exploring it. Exactly. So stay with us. <laughs> As we stated earlier, Abri has several different amenities and tourist attractions to choose from. You have the Adam Waterfalls, you have the Abri Botanical Gardens, you have the Tetequashi Cocoa Farm, and even for my outdoor lovers, you have bird watching, and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's like you're in a dream. And also, not to mention, it has wonderful different resorts and hideouts and luxurious getaways, such as the Perawasi Lodge, and it also has um, the Cactus Creek Hotel here, Ben. Even if you're looking for restaurants from that cl trendy, classy, chic restaurants to even your chop bars where you can get a lot of wonderful local foods. Am I right, Khadija? Absolutely right. And not to mention the various amenities that Ebru has to offer. We can talk about the famous Ebru Girl Senior High School, which was set up by the missionaries back in the day. As you would agree with me, back in the day in Ghana, education was not very welcoming, especially when it comes to educating women. And I think it was a step in the right direction direction that the missionary started that initiative and also we can talk about the women's college that is the Presbyterian women's college that on Ting Senior High School, the Tutakwashi Hospital, the Presbyterian District Hospital and so much more here that Ebri is deep rooted in culture, tradition and so much history because our former presidents also come here to relax as my colleague rightly mentioned there are a lot of hideouts here so if you're looking for a lifestyle that you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of Accra then Ebri Ebri is here for you and that is why it has become the center of you know real estate investment and great city the view black star village royal kingdom estate we have to offer you here in Ebri am I right <laughs> you are absolutely correct like she said you get away from the hustle and bustle it is just an absolute breathtaking have breathtaking views not to mention the wonderful climate mm -hmm. you have 50 50 weather here so you don't have to worry about being all hot you have the nice cool weather for you so if you're looking just for a chillaxation getaway, a brie has it for you. And again, I will let you on in a little secret. Did you know that the legendary Bomali's wife, that is Rita Mali, resides here in Ebri. She owns a lot of properties here in Ebri, and that should tell you how significant real estate has become, you know, here in Ebri. And that's evolution of real estate here in Ebri for you. <laughs> Everybody, I am sitting here with an amazing man. His name is Nana, 
and I am we are just absolutely honored to be in his presence today and he's going to be going over the evolution of real estate here and agree with us so hello Nana how are you sir I'm fine uh, thank you so much for being on the channel so how long have you have you been here in Agree? how long mm -hmm. I have been here yes. in Agree. Agree is my town okay so mm -hmm. I'm here always mm -hmm. every blessed day if you wow. don't see me, then I travel. Mm -hmm. but it's here. Mm -hmm. I was born here. Uh huh. Every is my town. Wow. So this is your town. This is this your is home. My, yeah. Wow. How amazing is that? So I can see that you have a lot of progression. You can see the changes, the various changes in Abri and in Peduasi. So can you please explain the different changes and the evolution that you've seen of real estate here in Abri over the years? Oh. Uh, well, a uh, bri is a bri. Mm -hmm. Formerly, uh, we are not many. Mm -hmm. But now, before we, we get more people, mm -hmm. parties, lots of gardens, right. because of Pediasi Lodge, and so many items. Mm -hmm. And moreover, I can say that a uh, bri rooms mm -hmm. is very cheap. Mm -hmm. So many of uh, Foreigners, Medina, uh, in Saum, everywhere, come and come to us. Come to so we are now many people in the week. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, so you're saying that it has grown over time. Yes, yes. So can you tell me, kind of in terms of, you talked about like the Kaduwasi Lodge and everything. Can you tell me how, even in the future, I know you can't like predict, but in the future, how do you see a breed even growing, even farther than it is today? Oh, former, former, <laughs> formerly, mm -hmm. a breed is not a town that, uh, I mean, I don't know what to see, running fast, mm -hmm. but now as a, we are sitting here, Every is a busy town. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Lana, for coming on the channel. Like I said, I'm absolutely honored and it's wonderful meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Stay with us and stay tuned as we deep dive into the evolution of real estate here in Ghana. We're going to be taking you guys all over. I mean, to Chado, to East Lagoon Hill, to Obokabi, Ayarafa. We're going to be deep diving into the areas where it is educational for you guys of the evolution of real estate here in Ghana. Exactly, guys. We are taking you on an insightful journey and you're going to learn a lot from our content. So stay tuned on our channel. And guys, like I was telling you earlier about the a brie and evolution of real estate. Gray City is just right here and is awaiting you. Look at the breathtaking environment and mountainous views, guys. So, this is evolution of real, real estate. estate. The creme de la creme. <laughs> Stay with us till next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>